He was a wonderful, loving Christian man who would help anybody. Whether he had the resources really, he would still stop what he was doing and try to help them. And he's been that way all of his life. Last week, 46-year-old Andy Parrish went missing. He was last seen by his family members in Athens, Georgia on January 2nd. His Ford Explorer was found in Jacksonville. And yesterday, Putnam County Sheriff's Office says they found a body in a wooded area of Marion County that they believe is that of Floyd Anderson Parrish. Authorities say they have arrested 52-year-old Richard Glenn Gertler with charges related to Parrish's disappearance. Now, after hearing the news that a body was discovered, Barbara Sullivan, his oldest cousin, is pulling down Andy's flyers. He called us all the time, all the time. In fact, it's kind of our joke that he would, his brother said, Andy will call, that's how I know something's wrong with him, Barbara. He'll call me and say, I'm about to go take a shower. And then he'd call him later and say, well, I finished my shower, I'm getting dressed, I'm going to work. That's how he communicated with all of us. Parrish was originally from Gainesville. He had only lived in Interlock in Putnam County for six months. Behind me, Andy Parrish's home, who his family says loved his little home. They said he was so excited to take his family here because it was the first home that he owned by himself. And now Sullivan says she does feel like her family has a sense of peace as they wait for the results of the medical examiner's office. We were so blessed to not have to wait very long, and I think about the families who have never had resolution and don't know where their family member is, but I say you have to trust God. You need to trust him every day when you get up and wherever you go. Reporting from Putnam County, Alicia Tarancon, GTN News.